Now, next case let. Listen carefully. Next case let. First is a little bit of difficult one. Second, I will try to make it little bit of easy ones. Easy ones. Case study based problems we will solve. See the questions. Question. This question is based on case study based DI. Case study based DI. First one is based on. First one is based on cumulative bar graph based DI. Second one is based on case study based DI. First, before solving it, take one minute, read the question. Kindly read the question, sir. Read the question. Read the question. Take one minute, read the question. There is a company, ABC Limited Company. It produces silicon chips, thousand at a time in a batch. So, first one. Number of chips manufactured, number of chips, number of, number of chips manufactured is a thousand, number of chips manufactured is a thousand. I hope it is clear. The company has to ensure that it does not supply defective chips, okay, as they are critical to the functioning of a computer, okay. If a buyer receives a defective chip, ABC has to pay a penalty of 150 per chip. So, numbers of chips manufactured are 1000. Number of defective chips, number of defective chips is given by N. Number of, it is given in the last statement, N is the number of defective chips per batch. Now, see here. Now see, instead of discussing like this, I will make it in a simple language and I will use ANC as an example to explain. Now, suppose Anil Nair classes gave order to 1000 books. I gave an order to 1000 books to a Xerox vendor. He gave it a print and he came and he submitted it to office. Now, I did not kept any resource to check whether any page is empty or not. There is no test done. If there is no test done, now if you see, so if it is no test done, some students have ordered for the books and I gave the books without checking it. So, defective books reached the customer. Customer has Penalized ANC with 150 rupees. So, no test means 150 N. No test means 150 N. So, number of defective chips is N. If a defective chips reaches the customer, customer will show ANC with a penalty of 150 rupees. So, no test is 150 into N. Now, ANC is losing a lot of money in paying penalties. So, what I did is, I appointed a junior executive who is not experienced, right? So, the role what he will do is, first read this, test one cost 6 rupees per chip. So, what he will do is, he will take a book, every book. He will open all the pages and he will check whether every page is printed properly or not. His role is take a book, check whether every page is printed properly or not. Like that he will do it for 1000 books. So it is 1000 into 6. Because he is a neophyte or does not have a great experience, he can identify only 80% of the defective chips. He identified only 80% of the defective chips. So 80% he has identified, 20% will go to the customer. If it reaches the customer, customer will attract a penalty, right, will show ANC with a penalty of 150 rupees. These, whatever these 80% of defective chips, right, to rework on it, to rework on it, it costs 75 rupees per chip. Every book it checked whether it is properly 
printed or not, 1000 into 6, 80 percentage are checked properly. So for this will go for rework, rework is 80 percentage into N into 75, 20 percentage will not given for rework. So 20 percentage will go to the customer. So test 2. I hope it is clear. Now, because the test one is handled by an inexperienced person, now I kept an experienced person. Now I kept an experienced person. What he will do, experienced person? Test two costs 9 rupees per chip. So, because he is experienced, he is charging more. It is 1000 into 9. Because he is experienced, he can deduct all defective chips. So, he has identify all defective chips so 100 percentage of n this will go for rework it is 75 i hope these three equations are very very clear to you very very clear to you sir first there is no employee who has kept to check whether they are properly printed or not n chips will go to the customer penalty is 150 n I kept a junior executive, each book he will check whether it is printed properly or not, 1000 into 6, because he is not highly experienced, he identifies 80 percentage, 20 percentage will go to the customer, so it is 150. Test to experienced person, 1000 into 9, 100 percentage into N into 75. Now, let us write down the equations here. Beautiful question based on case study. No test is 150N. Now test 1 will become test 1 will become 80 percentage is 4 by 5. 4 by 5 into 75 into N which is 60N. 20 percentage of N into 150 which is 30N. So this is nothing but 6000 plus 90N, 6000 plus 90N, test 2 is nothing but, test 2 is nothing but 9000 plus 75N, there are 3 cases we got, 1 is 150N, 6000 plus 90N, 9000 plus 75N, 9000 plus 75N, I hope it is clear, now listen carefully sir, now listen carefully, let me go back to the question. What is the question? Minimizing cost is the only purpose. Cost should be minimized. Cost should be minimized. Cost should be minimized. The value which gives the lowest value that, that either no test or test 1 or test 2 is taken. Suppose if I do no test versus test 1 no test versus test 1 so this will be 150n equivalent to 6000 plus 90n so n is 100 if 100 defective chips are there i can use either no test or test 1 either no test or test 1 let me take what will happen if n is less than 100 if n equivalent to 80 no test will become 150 into 80 which is 12,000. Test 1 will become 6,000 plus 90 into 80. 7,200 plus 6,000, 13,200. 13,200. That means if the number of defective chips are 100, either no test or test 1, if n is less than 100, which one is giving you the minimum cost? 12,000 is giving you the minimum cost. That means N is less than 100, use no test. N is greater than 100, use test 1. I hope it is clear, right sir? If I take these two equations, no test and test 1, you will come to know which test should be used depending upon the value of N. If N equivalent to 100, no test or test 1, no test or test 1, 
if n is less than 100, no test. If n is greater than 100, test 1. n is greater than 100, test 1. I hope it is clear, right, sir? Now see the first question. Right, there is a mistake in the option. First option is n is less than 150. Question is, ABC should not use any quality control test. Should not use means no test. When did we get no test? No test. When did we got no test, sir? No test is nothing but n less than 100. No test is n less than 100. I hope the question is clear. A three case study approach. This is what you are going to do once you do an MBA degree. Which product to launch, where to launch, what is place, what is product, what is promotion, right? All five piece, all five piece you will come to know which we call it as a positioning of a product. So, number of chips manufactured is 1000, number of defective chips. I hope it is clear, right, sir? Idea is clear? Idea clear, sir? So, the first one answer is N less than 100. N less than 100. Next, before. Idea clear, sir? Beautiful question, case study based. All the students who are asking, to Ajay sir, take the high level DI, high level DI. All these caselets are very high level DIs. Next question. Next one. Let me draft the question. Next question. See the question sir. First one. We have to write few values. No test. No test, we got it as 150N. Test 1, we got it as 6000 plus 90N. Test 2, we got it as 9000 plus 9000 plus 75N. If 200 less than N less than 400, if N is 300, take a value. So this will become 150 into 300, which is 45,000. 90 into 300, 27,000 plus 6,000, which is 33,000. Right? So 75 into 300. 22,500 plus 9,000 which is nothing but 31,500 according to the question it is nothing but minimizing cost 31,500, 33,000, 45,000 which is the lowest value lowest value is 31,500 which we got it for Test 2. So, what is the answer for this question? ABC Limited should use Test 2. Answer for this question is ABC Limited should use Test 2. I hope it is clear, right, sir? Idea clear? Case study based DI. First one was cumulative bar graph and the next one was case study based DI. Every caselet unique variety, sir. Unique variety. Next one. Third question. Let me draft the question. Third question. See the third question. So, already we discussed, right? No test will give you, no test will give you 150N. Test 1 will give you 6000 plus 90N, test 2 will give you 9000 plus 75N. Now see here, already we discussed this is 60N equivalent to 6000, N value is 100. N value 100 means either you can use no test or test 1, either we can use no test or test 1, we can use either no test or test one. Idea clear, sir? Simply, in simple language, I will tell you, sir. 
disease equal at n equal to 100. No test will be n less than 100. Disease equal at n equal to 200. This will be n greater than 200. Simple. No test or test 1. Right? I hope it is clear. Next one. Next one. Next question. Next one. Let me add the question, sir. See the next question. What should be the... Let me first read the question. What should be the value of N such that ABC Limited can use either test 1 or test 2? Test 1, what is the answer we got? 6000 plus 90 N. Test 2, what is the answer we got? Answer is 9000 plus 75 N. So both are equal. So 15 N equal to 3000. What is the N value? 200. If the number of defective chips are 200, then I can use either test 1 or test 2. Test 1 or test 2 can be used. Test 1 or test 2 can be used if N value is 200. If N value is 200. Case study based DI. Case study based DI. One problem will solve and cumulative bar graph. Cumulative bar graph based DI. Another set we solved. Two different sets. One is a cumulative bar graph based TI and another is a case study based TI. I hope it is clear. Next. One one case. Let just what you have to do is just start listening to the classes. We will cover as many models as possible in our live class so that when you look at a new question, your fear of looking at a question will not be there. Idea is clear, right sir? Next one. I hope it is clear, right? Next one. Listen carefully, sir. Next one. Next. Listen carefully. Another variety. Let me open the case let. One minute. Another variety. How to solve by using answer options. Read the case let. Using answer options. Please tick mark this question sir. This is taken from previous year management exams. Using answer options. Using answer options. Now listen carefully. Using answer options. Using answer options. First read the question. Read the question. Kindly read the question sir. One minute please read the question. At the end of the soccer season, every player has scored a prime number of goals. So, every player has scored a prime number of goals. Okay. This is the first statement. Average of the 11 players was also a prime number. Average is nothing but a prime number. This is also clear. No player's individual tally was the same as anyone else. That means every player, every player will score a unique prime number of goals. No two people will show the same thing. Unique prime number of goals. Third point also clear. Third also clear. R as the average. Every player's goals which is a prime number is not equivalent to average. That is also clear. Nobody has scored more than 45 goals. 
nobody has scored more than 45 goals means everybody scored goals less than 45 and it should be a prime number so list all the prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 next is 29 next is 31 next is 37 next to 41 next to 43 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 totally how many are there here 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 2 14 total there are 14 prime numbers are there total there are 14 prime numbers are there but i want 11 prime numbers because there are 11 players three numbers i have to omit three prime numbers i need to delete it three prime numbers i need to delete it three prime numbers i need to delete it i hope it is clear right sir three prime numbers i need to delete it now let us see the first question what is the first question what is the average of their goal scores what is the second key point average is a prime number 27 is a composite number 25 is a composite number 23 29 31 out of this three one number will be the answer what is the average of their goal scores average is given by s n by n average is given by s n by n suppose assume if i assume average as 23 if i assume average as 23 23 equal and 2 so there are total 11 players s 11 by 11 so sum of 11 players will become 23 into 11 23 into 11 is 253 23 into 11 is 253 sum of 11 average cannot be the score of the player so 23 we have to eliminate it 23 we have to eliminate it 30 right total 11 numbers sum should be 253 let me check what is the sum of the 13 numbers 2 plus 3 5 10 17 28 41 58 77 till here 77 29 31 till here 60 this is 84 84 plus 37 121 so it is nothing but 137 137 plus 251 258 258 is the sum of remaining 13 numbers 253 is the sum of 11 numbers what is the difference difference is 5 5 is nothing but the sum of 2 numbers the 2 numbers is nothing but 2 plus 3 2 numbers is nothing but 2 plus 3 so here 2 is eliminated here 3 is eliminated finish so answer for this question is average is 23 even though i am taking assumption that assumption is coming out to be fact because sum of 13 numbers is coming out to be 258 and 11 numbers is coming out to be 253 253 258 sum is 5 5 is nothing but 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 i hope it is clear average is 23 right you might also check anil sir can i cross check with other values please go ahead and cross check with 29 and 31 in case in case if you are getting a tick mark it in this case you will not get it so answer average of the goal scores came out to be 23 idea clear first question second question so what all numbers we eliminated? 2 we eliminated. 2 we eliminated. 3 we eliminated. 2 eliminated 3. Just one minute, sir.
just one minute pen is not writing Let's try to solve the next question write the next question solve the next question sir right what is the next question once you understand these are all easy questions what are the numbers we have eliminated 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 which numbers we eliminated Eliminated numbers are 2 we eliminated, 3 we eliminated, 20, 3 I think we eliminated. So, what is the maximum number of goals scored by a single player? Maximum number of goals scored by a single player is 43. Very easy question. 43. This is an easy question. Next, get into the next question. Third question. Third one. Let's try to solve the question. What was the minimum number of goals scored by a single player? Already we discussed 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on up to 43. 2 is not possible, 3 is not possible. What is the minimum number of goals scored by a single player? What will be the answer? 5. Answer is 5. I hope it is clear. Very easy question. Once you get out of 14, 3 are eliminated. Remaining 11. If you get it, then all these questions are sitters. 5. Another question. Try to solve this question. This is the beauty about the reasoning caselet. Once you understand it, they are all very easy. So, what are these scores? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43. Which all are eliminated? 2 is eliminated, 3 is eliminated. Here, average 23 is eliminated. How many players scored about 20 goals? About 20, how many are there? 29, 31, 37, 41, 43. Totally, how many are there? 5. Totally, how many are there? 5. I hope it is clear, right, sir? The very easy case, let, let us not spend too much time. Once you get out of 14, 3 are eliminated, you can develop any question on your own. 5. All three questions can be solved by using answer options. I took 23 from the answer option. Another beautiful caselet. Let me open the caselet. Variety of caselets we will discuss. These is the question based on mixers and allegation. Beautiful question, sir. Beautiful question. Mixers and allegation. Mixtures and allegations. Fantastic question. Listen carefully, sir. Entire to prepare these structure and everything to prepare all the questions, format it, it has taken a lot of time. Now read the question first, sir. This question nobody should ignore, sir. Fantastic question. Generally, if you go by the traditional method, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Now let us go by the mixers and allegation method. Following pie chart provide information about the average weight of boys and girls in each of the four sections. A class of 200 students was divided into four sections, namely A, B, C, D, where each section had at least one boy and one girl. At least every 
right we will write that key point key point is at least one boy and one girl at least one boy and one girl okay this is clear that means boys is 55 if the number of boys are x girls will be 45 total there are 200 students so the remaining it will be 200 minus 6 this will give me average weight of the students in the class so what will be the answer this will be 40 55 x plus 45 into 200 minus x divided by the number of students which is 200 55 x plus 45 into 200 minus x divided by 200 so this is nothing but 45 into 200 plus 10 x divided by 200 this this will get cancelled 45 plus x by 20 45 plus x by 20 now if you see here there is an another important line average weight of the students in the class is an integer average should be an integer this entire value entire value average should be an integer average should be an integer for it to be an integer what are the cases possible sir x should cannot be zero because if x is zero boys will become zero every class contains at least one boy and at least one girl at least one boy and at least one girl so x will take 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 180 it cannot be 200 because 200 minus 200 it will be 0 what is x value x is nothing but the number of boys in the class what is girls value girls is 200 minus x this is b so similarly g will become what are the g values 180 160 140 120 100 200 minus 20 80 60 40 20 this will help us in one of the questions b is to g it can be 1 is to 9 it can be 1 is to 4 it can be 3 is to 7 it can be 2 is to 3 it can be 1 is to 1 it can be 3 is to 2 it can be 7 is to 3 it can be 8 4 is to 1 and it can be 9 is to 1 all these ratios are possible all these ratios are possible now let me read the first question right first one if the average weight of the students in the class is minimum find the maximum number of students in section C right now this we will solve little later I will again come back to this question let me first give you an easy question then we will get into a difficult question see this question sir see this question just now we solved this question only boys how much it is 20 girls how much it should be 180 boys is 20 girls is 180 now see here which of the following cannot be the ratio already we discussed I am repeating again 40 is to 160 60 is to 140 80 is to 120 100 is to 100 100 is to 100 next so 1 is to 4 1 is to 4 is possible here this is possible question is which of the following cannot be a possible ratio to the number of boys and girls 4 is to 3 4 is to 3 anywhere I got 1 is to 9 2 is to, 1 is to 4 3 is to 7 2 is to 3 4 is to 9 it is not possible next one 9 is to 1 9 is to 1 is possible when the boys are 180 girls will be 20 this is also possible 3 is to 1 
3 is to 1, where it is possible, 1 is to 9, 9 is to 1, 1 is to 4, 4 is to 1, 3 is to 7, 7 is to 3, 2 is to 3, 3 is to 2, 3 is to 1. These also not possible. 1 is to 1, 100 is to 100, it is also possible. That means, how many values are possible? This is possible, this is possible. So, what is the easy answer for this question? Answer for this question is 2. Answer for this question is 2. See the first and second question. I did not solve this question because I wanted to solve easy question. Now we will see. Average weight of the students in the class is minimum possible. So average I got it as 45 plus x by 20. So x is minimum. It cannot be 0. x minimum is 20. That means boys it will be 20. Girls it will be 180. Okay. This is clear. Girls it will be 180. Now maximum number of students in section C. Here it will be this entire maximum number of students in section C. In this one maximum number of students should be there. Now listen carefully sir. First note then I will solve. Note average of 97 98 101 what is one way to solve one way to solve it is 97 plus 98 plus 101 divided by 3 another is tentative average if i take it as 97 97 97 0 98 97 what is the difference 1 101 97 what is the difference 4 0 plus 1 plus 4 by 3 so you can take a tentative average see how many remaining numbers are ahead or below 98 is 1 above 101 is 4 above same thing we will do listen carefully sir listen carefully so i will draw the diagram again This is A, this is B, and this is C, and this is D. A, B, C, D. Now see here. This region should be maximum. For this region should be maximum. Remaining all these three should be minimum. C contains 55. All these three should be minimum. Listen carefully better. Compared to C, what is the... A's value 70. That means if I keep one student sitting in 7A, he will bring 15 cages more compared to C. If I keep one student in B, it is 5 cages more. If I keep one student in D, it is minus 15 cages. Right? At least every class should have minimum 1 boy and minimum 1 girl. Minus 15 plus 15 cancel, 0 plus 5, 5. But I want this to be maximum. For it to be maximum, remaining 3 regions should be minimum. Remaining 3 regions should be minimum. Remaining 3 regions should be minimum. So, if you observe here, minus 15 plus 15, minus 15 plus 15, 0, 0 plus 5, 5. But I want the value to be minimum. So I will keep 3. What is 5? 3 is our 15. Anyway, here minimum 1 boy should be there. 15 plus 15, 30. Here I will keep 2 people. Minus 30 plus 15 plus 15. Minus 30 plus 30 cancelled. Total number of total number of boys. How many are there? Actually 20. In that boys 20. To keep the maximum number of students in section C, remaining I kept some value such that the sum is 0. 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. So 6 I kept. What is the remaining answer? C. How much will be the value? 14. Maximum number of boys. Maximum number of boys. Maximum number of boys in section C will be 14. Similarly, girls also I will solve. Then if you got... Right, then I will also do it for girls. Then if you got any doubts, you can ask me. 
I have a flow and I will follow the flow. I will discuss all possible varieties in the upcoming classes, right? A is 50, B is 55, C is 45, D is 40. Everything we will discuss, but whatever time I will say, at that time you need to come and you need to attend the class with a lot of sincerity, right? You come in between, you come one second day, you don't miss it. Anyway, I am coming to know who are all are coming regularly and everything. If you come after 5 days, 10 days, whenever you feel like studying and ask me to repeat one concept, I will not do that, okay? Simple and straight. Now, this is a section C. I am always there for sincere serious students who have been following me consistently section c should be maximum section c should be maximum first thing if i keep a person here it will be five more if i keep a person here it will be ten more if i keep a person here it will be five less it will be five less but I want maximum number of students in section C. Maximum means remaining sum should become zero. If I keep one person, 10. If I keep one person, 5. What is a 10 plus 5? 15. If here, three people should be there. Minus 15 plus 15 is zero. Total, if boys is 8, girls will be 180. Already we discussed. Out of 180, 3 plus 1 plus 1. 5 are already done. If 5 are already done, how many maximum girls can be there here? What is the maximum number of girls that can be present in section C? 175. So, maximum number of girls. Otherwise, if you use all X and Y methods, it take a lot of time. Maximum number of girls in section C is 175. What is the question? Maximum number of students in section C. Maximum number of students in section C is nothing but boys plus girls. Boys plus girls is 14 plus 175. Answer is 189. Answer is 189. Again, I am explaining for the second time. Please listen carefully, sir. This is a circle. The question is maximum number of students in section C. This should be maximum. For C to be maximum, remaining three regions, it should be minimum. Remaining three. C, weight is 55. Here, what is the weight, sir? 70. 70, 55. If there is one student in section A, how much he will get an additional value? Plus 15. Here also, how much he will get? Plus 5. Here, how much he will get? Minus 15. But maximum number of students, C should be maximum. So, remaining 3 regions should be minimum. Minimum, the minimum means the sum should be 0. So, if I keep 3 people, 5 3s are 15 plus 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. Here it is 2. 15 plus 15, 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. See, always, this is the beauty of the question. Identify the root cause of the problem. C should be maximum. If C is maximum, remaining, remaining 3 should be minimum. Remaining 3 should be minimum means try to make the sum 0. Try to make the sum 0. Here it is 45. If I keep one student in section A, he will get an additional value of 5. If I keep one section, it is minus 5, it is plus 10. So if you see, if I keep anyway 1, 1, 1, if I keep minus 5 plus 5, 0, 0 plus 10 is 10. I want to make it 0. So here 1, extra 10, here 1, extra 5. 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 minus 15 is 0. So out of total 180 students, 5 students are kept in remaining 3, so remaining 175. A beautiful application of how to make the other values zeros. See, other values zeros. I hope it is clear, right, sir? So answer for this question is 189. Put a star mark on this question, sir. A beautiful cat replica based question. A beautiful cat replica based question. Cat replica based question. I hope it is clear. Right. Now, next question. Now, once you understand, next question is very easy.
see the next question same thing what is the maximum ratio already we discussed right now this what is the maximum ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in section C number of boys to the number of girls in section C just no visa in section C boys maximum will be 14 girls will be 170 so answer for this question is 14 is to 175 14 is to 175. I hope the idea is clear. One bar graph is given. One pie chart is given. He is asking maximum and minimum. Those of you are writing cat multiple times, you know that good number of questions are coming from maximum and minimum. Answer is 14 is to 175. One analytical reasoning question, two people have to reach the destination. That is clear. Download our revolutionary app for free AMC.